this is an example of potato chips cost and you can see that we have various items like potatoes vegetable oil seasoning gas and the fixed cost and all of these items contribute towards the total cost of the potato chips and we know that the cost of the potatoes and the vegetable oil as well as seasoning and gas varied throughout the year sometime it is very high and sometime it is low and we need to calculate the cost of the potato chips that we have to give our customers on the package and that cost must include all these variations in these type of situations scenario manager is one of the very helpful tool that we can use to sort out these type of situations so how we can do this let's learn don't forget to subscribe now how and press the bell icon for more videos to add any scenario we have to go to the data tab and then we will go to the what if analysis and here I will select the scenario manager when I click it this scenario manager window opens and here I will click add so here we need to add the scenario and first we have to give any name to the scenario for example the first scenario that we are going to give is the low cost and then I have to select the changing cells so I will select all these cells and then press OK when I press OK the scenario values window open and here you can see that it is giving me different options and now we need to add the cost of all these items in the case of low cost so say for example the lowest cost in the year for the potatoes is 30 so I will write 30 and similarly the minimum cost of the vegetable oil in the year that we expect is the 100 and for the seasoning I will change it to 40 and for the gas I will change it to 70 so now you can see that I have given the scenario of low cost and then I will press OK so the first scenario have been added that is the low cost now again I want to add another scenario so I will press add I will name the scenario to high cost you can see that the cells have been already selected and after this I will press OK and now we need to give the cost of each element for the high cost scenario so for example I would say that the cost of potatoes may rise to 60 vegetable to 140 seasoning to 50 and gas to 90 so after setting all the cost for each element I'll press OK and you can see that another scenario have been added to the list that is the high cost so if I want to add another scenario again I need to click add so you can see that we have added all these scenario you can customize these scenarios as per your need this example is just to make you understand that how scenario manager works so once we have added all the scenarios we can develop the summary so I will click this summary we can develop the scenario summary in two ways the first is the scenario summary and the other is the scenario pivot table report and while selecting this make sure that the result cell is selected as total cost and then we have to press OK so here you can see that we have the summary of the scenarios the first scenario that is the current value is given in the first column followed by the low cost and the high cost and the very high cost and the total cost you can see that varied from 270 to 400 and
fifty. And we have to consider all these costs so that the final cost of our commodity in the market remains constant. There is some similarities between the scenario manager and the goal seek. If you also interested in understanding the goal seek, I am giving the link in the i button. You can watch that video and also understand the goal seek. If you found this tutorial helpful, don't forget to like, share and subscribe for more Excel tips and tricks.